With us tonight, Councillor Richard Kemp, Lib Dem leader on Liverpool Council, who very much wants us to stay in, and Louise Bors, one of UKIP's Northwest MEPs, who wants out. Councillor Kemp, first of all, we hear about all the cash the EU's investing in Merseyside and Liverpool and regeneration, but isn't that our own money that we've just sent to Brussels? It's come back via there? Well, partly it is, but I think most politicians in the north of England know that we won't, wouldn't have got it from London. The EU had a much better regional policy. Uh, it decided on real figures and facts where investment should go, whereas our government successively has decided to do it on prejudice, and that's why the south gets more, that's why London gets an overwhelming amount of the development money, ten times as much as the northwest does, but we got a much better crack of the whip under Europe. So, Ms Bors, um, the government wouldn't have spent that money on Merseyside, the UK government. Say goodbye to the EU, say mm. goodbye to all that regeneration. Well, first of all, two things. I mean, I do agree with the councillor actually on one thing. I think we do get a raw deal in terms of what we get from central government. But that isn't a reason to go sending all our money, 55 million a day, to Brussels. What we And you're absolutely right in what you said in your opening. That money is our money that they then give us back and tell us how we can spend it. And then we have to put up a nice blue plaque saying thank you to the EU. Now, wouldn't it be better to press ahead with really great devolution so our regions have more authority and then we can work out how to spend that money for the benefit of our people here in the northwest or any other region in the country but the point is that money is going all over europe to areas that need it we are helping europe as a whole we're trying to look after europe well, as a whole I, isn't I, that I, what we should be well, doing I, I think with a million of our own kids unemployed i think we should be looking a little bit more closer to home if i'm being honest that is our taxpayers money it should be it should be spent here and if our government can't do if the councillor is worried about our government spending too much money in central london then we need to make sure that our regions are strong and we push ahead with devolution but, that's the key but the point is we're spending it in other parts of europe for a reason we want to grow the market within Europe. We want to grow the economy within Europe. And it's in our interests. If the whole of Europe is developing well, is being innovative and entrepreneurial, it puts us into a big market. So we're investing over there. But, it's a but we're investing market. there for a good reason. But it's a shrinking market. I mean, we, we're globalists. We want, to do di we want to do trade with the rest of the world. You know, why stick with this little political union well, where the trade the is shrinking when we can look outwards to the Commonwealth, to China, to India, to Brazil, etc., etc.? But when you hear that United Utilities, Manchester Airport, Liverpool University, Siemens and mm. Peel, to name just a few, they all think that it will be better mm. for business if we stay it's in. It's big business, Lucy. It's big business. And the EU is there for one reason. It's there to benefit big businesses. 95% of businesses in this country do not deal with the European but Union. But why do you but hate 100%. The EU so much? But, why, but I, they, all those small businesses, though, depend on the markets created by the large no, they businesses. they don't. They're not having anything to do Let, with, with the for, EU. Let's I've look, for example, that. at British Aerospace. British Aerospace will have real problems with both its commercial and fighter aircraft. They do no. it in cooperation with Europe. Look at all the small businesses who don't trade with Europe, but trade with British Aerospace. If we don't have big businesses, we don't have small businesses No big either. business will leave just because we leave a political union. This is a political union, it's not about trade. And the Europhiles, like the councillor here, just want us to think that, that we need to be in political union in order to trade, and we don't. It's a lie. It will make it a lot harder if we pull out. We have 50 trade agreements between Europe and the rest of the world. All those will need to be renegotiated. We're a smaller market, we won't do as well. And of course, we have to negotiate a trade deal with Europe, which the, we've just pulled out The of. reason why there's no Liberal Democrats in Europe is because the people just simply don't believe them. That's why, the problem. Why are you so determined? What is your main problem with the EU? My, my, my Lucy, my own driver, my own personal driver is the Democrats democratic deficit that exists there. We can no longer, over 70% of our laws are made in Brussels. Well, I think that correct. it is absolutely, Vivian true. Redding, the commissioner, actually true. says it's more, actually said it's 75%. That's not true. You can right. say it's not Give true me an and deny it. Give me an example Look, of a law that you're EU, unhappy with. EU law has primacy over our own law. Michael Gove, the justice secretary, says every day his hands were tied but by EU regulations. But if you're environmental and health and safety mm. issues, yeah. you, you agree with those. Don't you? Of course we all want to be safe and uh, the, the environment to take care of that, but we can do that ourselves. We don't need people, we don't need commissioners in Brussels instigating legislation that we then have to put into power. Oh. We can do this ourselves, our own politicians in Westminster. 
I believe that I want my country, which I'm incredibly proud of, to be a leader in Europe and in the world. And the way we do it is to stay in and fight our corner inside and move out I from there. Thank you. thank you very much. There we have to <laughs> leave it. Thank you, Lucy. I know we thank could you. talk for a lot longer, yeah, but thank you. Yeah, we could indeed.